All right, we made it. We are on the ice cream trail. It's so big. Our ice cream is huge. That was last month, taking my family with me as I set out on a story about the New Hampshire ice cream trail. Even getting caught in the rain just before didn't dampen our spirits. I mean, how could it? The trail weaves its way through the state with 42 ice cream shops along the way. The goal? Hit them all between Memorial Day and October. Get a stamp at each spot after grabbing a scoop. Fill this map book out and mail a completed one in for a chance at the grand prize. But as I found out, everyone Everyone who gives the ice cream trail a try comes away a winner. Hey, here you are. It is a snapshot of summer. Thank you. Comes in all flavors and sizes. Largest are 12 ounces. Okay. And as good as ice cream looks. Oh, there's a key lime. Thank you. And it comes nowhere near as good. Mint chip. As it tastes. Best mint chip ever. At Richardson's Ice Cream in Bosco in New Hampshire. Black raspberry. Here we go. Cheers. Megan Call filled my stepson Jack and me with more than a few craving inducing bites of some of their 61 flavors. Coffee Oreo is one of the most popular ones I do. I don't know if I can ever drink real coffee because I'll just think of this and it'll be a disappointment. <laughs> it's so creamy. That's the I fun of making it that. yourself. You can control it the way you want it. We want it nice and creamy. Ooh. Because if you're not going to do it the old-fashioned way from scratch, why bother? And I didn't have to take Megan's word for it. So we start with two and a half gallons of ice. She gave me a quick tutorial on how they make their ice cream. See, and I said I didn't want to spill any. Ah, keep going. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. A banana chip in this case. You're going to lean the bowl up here. And while it wasn't a top secret process. This feels like a two-person project. It is how Richardson's has been making ice cream since the 1950s when selling milk wasn't enough to keep the family farm going, according to Jim Richardson, who says, yes, you can taste the Richardson difference. We start with raw milk, raw cream. We have a blend of sugars and milk solids that we've developed over the years that we're happy with, and our ice cream base is exactly where we want it to be. And even if that means nothing to me, I'm going to taste it, and that, I'll know the difference. <laughs> You're darn well better. Richardson's rich history, one of the things that makes it unique among the shops you'll find on the New Hampshire ice cream trail. Which ice cream place do we check out today? <laughs> A part of the journey since the trail started 10 years ago. We're out in the middle of nowhere. It does bring people here. Once they've found us, if they're within 40 miles of us, they tend to come back. A plus for business. <laughs> Wow, looks delicious. And welcome challenge for the mom and pop shop with Jim, his wife Sue, and Megan, the only full-time workers. We're stretched pretty thin, but I enjoy what I'm doing. About 15 miles down the road in San Bernton, you'll find a similar mindset at Miltuck Farm and Creamery. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, there's never a bad day making ice cream. Like, compared to being a firefighter... Lori Miller is a former Phoenix firefighter who opened up her ice cream stand just a year ago. Yeah, one scoop of the pineapple. One... Her wife Liz, their kids, even mother-in-law, a part of what she says was a dream. I'm like a big dreamer, right? So I just got this idea that we were going to start this little ice cream shop. I'm going to do the waffle ball. I had a vision. We were very specific with wanting an environment where people could come and sit. Right? Bring That's your kids. That's literally what this is. Eat ice cream. Good ice cream brings people from everywhere. From the lines we saw, the idea has caught on, and not just with the locals. I don't think we'd be here without the ice cream trail. Really? Yeah, we get as equal amount of like regulars and town folk as we do people just experiencing the ice cream trail. Especially as a first year. Yep. They visit. have their maps. I'm intrigued by the way they do it. Some of them are like, I want the chocolate chip. That's what I get at every single place. Right? And they're kind of gauging which ones have the best flavor. Speaking of, Miltuck had around 16 the day we visited. I don't know if you can take all that down, but uh, good check. I will do, I will do my best. You know, Lori currently learning the ice cream craft from an industry veteran. And from my double scoop, made up of coffee Oreo cookie and grape nut, 
Her apprenticeship is going rather well. Miltuck Farm and Creamery and Richardson's are just two of the 42 shops on this year's New Hampshire ice cream trail. It runs as far north as Pittsburgh's Moose Alley Cones, about 14 miles from the Canadian border with shops dotting the freeways and back roads throughout the state. Cities like Keene, Concord, Manchester, and Nashua laying claim to the bulk. Today we're here right on a dairy farm. Right. One of our New Hampshire dairy farmers owns this. Amy Hall is the director of the Granite State Dairy Promotion. The group started the ice cream trail a decade ago to raise awareness about New Hampshire's dairy farmers. One of my favorite things to say is no cows, no ice cream. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's 100 percent true. You know, in 1970, we had over 800 family owned dairy farms here in New Hampshire. Today, in 2023, we have 90 left. Including, as mentioned, the one we were on, Ilsley's, where Lisa Ilsley is a fifth generation dairy farmer. We milk about 15 cows, so it's it's a real it's small really farm small, right? in you know in the grand scheme of, of dairy farming. It's in your blood. Once a dairy farmer, always a dairy farmer. We love it, and I knew that I really needed to do something besides just milking the cows and shipping the milk wholesale, so that's why I started um, the ice cream stand. Here we are nine years later, and we're still going strong. This is chocolate, right. because they have very good chocolate here. Mike Atkinson is one of many who discovered Ilsley's thanks to the New Hampshire ice cream trail. You've completed it now how many years? I have completed it three years, um, and I have participated in it every year since 2016. And that's not all. When his completed map book was mailed in and randomly selected last year, Mike became the grand prize winner, receiving an Eat Like a Cow sweatshirt, an array of New Hampshire products, and a small gift card. But Mike is quick to point out the real prize is found in the journey. Sometimes you don't stop to think, well, let's do something that's a little bit different. And so to go find some place new and discover a little bit more of the state. That's what this helps you do. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's been the best part of this journey that you've taken year after year? I really get a kick out of meeting the people. And some of the stores are really, really unique. One of the stores, they didn't have anybody there. You walk in, take your ice cream out of the freezer, put your money in get an out. envelope. I'm serious as a heart attack. Put your money in an envelope and drop it in the box. It's awesome. That's old time New Hampshire. Yeah. And after all these years, Mike admits there's also a practical takeaway from the trail. Are you really eating ice cream at every stop? I get smalls. <laughs> <laughs> the first... Did you do that right away or you made no. a mistake like me right away? <laughs> no, I learned really quick, don't get the large, don't get a frap, don't get a banana split. Get the small ice cream. Right. If you're eating a banana split at every stop, it hurts. But you'll do that sometime. I sometimes I do have to get a banana split. Yeah. yeah. Mm. There you, you got to do what you got to do. So Richardson was kind enough. Richardson sent us some up. ice cream. Well, you've got some in your dish, yeah. and I will say Jack created a flavor. He was talking to them there and said you should do a mango, and they created a mango oh, awesome. and and love it. And I, I have a little of that. You guys each have some ice cream there to enjoy. The trail's really enjoyable if you get a chance to head on out there. All right.